What's up guys, welcome back to another video. No, skip the intro, let's get right into it. So you might be wondering what tool I'm talking about. Well, I'm simply talking about an assets folder, a folder of all your images, photos, videos, things that you use commonly. First, let's talk about why this is gonna speed up your workflow, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys how to build your own. Number one, so why should you have an assets folder? Oh, I like this chair. Number one, it cuts out time in your editing. When you have to go quickly to Google search, to YouTube search, oh, um, sound effects, music, video files, green screens, when you have to do that repeatedly, it's really adding up your editing time because you're not doing it all in one go. But if you have this one folder on your desktop, on your cloud, wherever you want to keep it, and you could quickly just access it, then you don't have to repeatedly go and find the things that you use over and over again. Like for example, on YouTube, I have a channel intro that I'm not always just going and looking into my hard drive to find it. I have it in my assets folder. So if I ever need to just throw in my channel intro, I can just quickly grab it, import it into the project, Put it in. Number two, it's a build over time kind of system. So obviously at the start, you know, you're gonna have your basic things, but over time, when you do find there's something you don't have in your assets folder that you need, you go, you search for it, you put it in your assets folder, you import it through your assets folder, and over time your assets folder is building into this giant library. So I'm thinking in under a year, I've, I've built a significant assets folder. I've never really had to go onto YouTube, search royalty free green screen, royalty free, you know? And finally, last one, it saves space on your computer. If you really think of it, you'd be like, no, it doesn't save space. There's so much folders just packed into one, all this content. If you're repeatedly searching for that, you're repeatedly using these things in your projects, you're repeatedly putting them into your folder structure. You're always creating more duplicates of the exact same piece of content and you're importing it into the project. And then you're using that and you're sending it off into your archive. But then let's say you need it for another project, you're going back onto YouTube, you're going back and downloading that file, putting it into a different file. And over time, you're just having all these duplicates of files that you only really need one of because you've repeatedly used it maybe in 10 projects. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about how you build one. This is what you really came here for. Number one, you're gonna wanna find the assets that you have at the moment. Make sure you own the rights to these assets. For example, music, if you have a subscription to Epidemic Sound, art list, you can download a bunch of songs and then put those in your assets folder. If you have video files, one assets folder I have is a lot of drone footage I have. So if I ever wanna just throw in some nice drone footage, it's right there. Also just like channel intros, sound effects they use often like in um, YouTube YouTube videos I always use this pop sound for example, like pop pop that's in my assets folder so I can just quickly access it so I would just dump all of that onto your desktop so you, you just have it all there and once you've chosen you know it doesn't have to be giant to start but just choose a couple things you can throw in your assets folder now it's time to organize it so I want you to organize it in a way that works for you remember organization it all comes down to what works for you. There's no wrong or right answer. Obviously, it's nice to see how other people do it. So I'm gonna show you how I do mine. Okay, so let me walk you through how I do my assets folder. As you can see here, I keep my assets folder on my creative cloud. So I have access to it uh, off all of the uh, the computers I'm on. You just wanna organize it in a way that you can quickly know where you're gonna get things. In graphics, I have a couple of random things, logos, music, I have them organized by my epidemic music, my art list music. You can keep assets that are copyrighted. You just wanna make sure you, you mark them. One thing I do recommend you guys do is have a common and uncommon, just so you can quickly access the ones that you use most commonly. So for example, in common, I have effects, which are like kind of like, just sound effects for you know whooshes swoops pops rises things like that that you use commonly and then if i ever want to get uncommon it gets more into like deep like foley i have some foley in here i have some food and dining animal sound effects and video you know same thing as well here i have common videos that i use for example you know like my branding tag and uncommon here for example you know like stock video just find a way that it works for you now the next tip i mentioned this briefly but find a place where you can quickly access them creative cloud for example is great for me because if i'm ever editing on my laptop i'm out i have the project file because i keep my project files on my creative cloud if i'm ever editing out i always just throw my, my my media files on an on a quick ssd and then i have access to all the assets folder which is super great finally this is a bonus tip not a lot of people do this but this is a tip i recently found out put all your assets in a project by itself drag that project into the project you're working on it's kind of confusing and then take those files that are in the project drag them into your project if you have any questions about it just comment them below send me a dm on instagram i can answer any questions or questions of the day for you guys do you have an assets folder have you 
you ever used an assets folder and if so what type of system and if not you know just comment how you're doing today i would love to know how you guys are doing today hope you guys enjoyed that video before i wrap it up i want to let you guys know about these blue light glasses i am not sponsored by them by any means but i do think it is recommended for editors to get this pretty much what it does is blocks the blue rays that cause stress on your eyes for editing for long periods of time i got a pair on amazon for 20 dollars. i'm gonna leave the link in the description if you guys want to check them out highly recommend them and help me stay focused while editing but without further ado gently tap that like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe new videos every week we got bangers 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 coming out hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I drop a new video. Creators, keep creating.